can't think about all those children out there. Okay, right. I'm sorry, girl. You need to move. No, I can't cross this way. Why is there another way around? Girl, I can't take you. Make you come with me. Can I get out of here? Hmm? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. October road trips. Let's all go to the drive-in. Shakespeare in the woods. Oh, goodness. Don't fail me, fuse box. Apparently I should use it. Ah. Shit! He's dead. Electrocuted. Holy frick! I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear. All right, me. we're not killing somebody, Max. Come on. This makes me so sad. Every other Saturday. Everybody plays. Shit. How do I get him? How do I get him out? How do I get him out? Okay. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. How do I get his attention? What do I do? What do I do? No, I'm not using the fuse box. Hey! I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. So yell! Smash more window! Fire! Find something to smash window! Can't climb back out. Frick, what do I do? This is a very small space. What am I overlooking? Damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. Can't hear me. All right, Google, help me out. Oh, frick. Okay. Jesus. I should have thought about it, but I was like too too mortified. Okay, dude. Please, 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 please. Come on! You have to get out of here right now! I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. You're not gonna get it in here. I can't die in this room. I can't. Move. Oh, you're- okay, fine. You won't die in the room if you move. Is the fire- the fire is still here. Shit, what do I do? No more storms. Can I use it? You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay, I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Let's get out of here. Dang. What is it I'm supposed to take a picture of? Whoa! <gasps> Holy shit, what? What happened? What happened? How do I make it not happen? What happened? Is 
Something catches fire, obviously. What do I do? This fire starts here, goes, how do I make it stop? What do I do? 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 Son of a... Blow up the diner. There's plenty of water. You think it'd have a hose and wash it down or something? Nothing seems like a solution. Stop exploding! Something over here. Stop exploding! actually see it explode? Is that my problem? Okay, now maybe it'll let me do it? There we go! Not a bunch of sand, but okay. Now we can go. I wish life was back to simple eggs and bacon. Oh, I know. This isn't gonna work. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Look at that. This tornado might be the end of the world. But not if I can change it. Literally says die. All right, we're supposed to take a picture, I think, but uh, we're just gonna keep going. Oh, did the homeless lady get out? She's not here. Does that mean we got her? Oh, she's not here. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. She probably would have been there if we hadn't warned her. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a At test. At least nobody's I going to starve in here. For Acadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. Go get him, Julia. Blackwell bullying. As a student at Blackwell Academy, I'm torn in writing this essay. I love my school and the education is provided, but at the same time, I have to use my own critical thinking abilities as a budding journalist. So when I report that Blackwell has a problem, it's not with any glee or agenda. In fact, this problem reflects a disturbing national trend. In short, there are bullies at school and they are us. Max. Ooh. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Doing better than other oh, places. Poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The 
The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. So no. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, I'm just a pussy. Sorry. <laughs> we will get out of this, okay? Joyce has got everybody's back. Even Frank's. It's good to have Frank on our team. Oh man, can you imagine talking to him if that conversation didn't go well? Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Oh, good Did you and Lord. Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are, you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! You saw... You saw Rachel? Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? Oh, God. He used some drug and... Gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. Yeah. I killed my lioness. No. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Well, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. <laughs> but you're cool. Max, do you... Do you think this is the end? Hope not. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? She's... Safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while well, I ended up stuck at this diner again. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. 
Even if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. And I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. And Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? No, absolutely not. David saved my life from the storm. He means well, even if he doesn't know how to show it. But this has to be your choice. I'm so happy David was there for you, but I don't always like his attitude either. Sometimes he scares me. I know it's hard for you and Chloe. I'm used to my life being hard. Chloe had to find out way too early. And I, I don't think we need David around to keep reminding us. You're right, Max. I think I'm making my choice now. You shouldn't be with someone who scares you. I can't seem to escape the two whales. In my opinion, if your significant other scares We're you... just about to drive to Los Angeles, too. Uh, d that's- that's a big nope. No more music. The party is over. This vortex is much bigger. It's so hard to believe people were eating breakfast here only a few hours ago. Pompadour! Well, you... At least Frank still has Pompadour at his side. Popper. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus, this is not where I want to die. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. Where did you dig all that out? Holy frick, half the diner just... Boat came right on in. Should be rain dumping in here too, but whatever. Oh, look at Warren. Always trying to help. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? E6? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I think that the storm started, everything started when I found out I could rewind time. Man. There's no way this is just a coincidence. Lip movement is gone. Max. Not only the storm, but the eclipse. The birds, the wheels, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... Did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. 
I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. All this destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? <laughs> That's a good I point. Guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Didn't explain what she was gonna do with that photo. Max, do you... Do you think this is the end? Honestly, for if this is an alternate universe, I have my with me. for this universe, it might be. Hey, be careful out there. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Don't be awkward about it. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. All right. For this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. Tell her you rewound time! To talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, to Warren. To Rachel. Let's go. Tell her! Now. Tell her! Wait, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Mm. Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Do I have to go all the way around? Ugh. Excuse me, I'm going to the- Mmm, I don't know if- Oh, let's try it. Nathan is dead. That fucker is our- Because- Will you please- 
Jefferson's a psychopath. Let's try! Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William oh, was Oh, God. Alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... It, you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to... End your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? Yes. I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. David was ahead of us. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Oh, great. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And... 
travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over and... I hope it was worth it, but... I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Oh no, come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. Dude, you're Max fucking call for the Get off the beach! Warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. No. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously for myself. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, Look at and all we said we would be <sighs> safe at the lighthouse. Stuff flying around. Oh, wait, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. You should go somewhere. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... Don't black out now. Don't black out now. I've got no back. What is happening? Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. Uh, I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Lives. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and I our have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson light, lecture again. This From might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition up. in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Seriously. Bueller? Diane Arbe. Be calm and go, don't Gloria. freak out. What? Yet. What? Because of her images of hopeless faces. What? I feel like totally haunted by the what? eyes of those sad mothers and children. Ah! Uh, she saw humanity as tortured. Right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. Excuse, excuse me. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though. Oh God. I could oh God. One of you I don't want to look at it. Capture the moment of desperation. Oh Jesus! What the frick? Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? You broke reality, Max. This doesn't make sense. Congratulations. You broke it. It's still there. Whoa, what? It changed. I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. <laughs> I'm taking this picture. <laughs> Did your diary exist in this reality? Ah. Maxine, you keep fucking up. How many times does Chloe have to die in front of you? Maybe it would be better actually, you know, have a life. Find my cat pics, please. My heart is broken. <laughs> Always take the shot. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Something. Something in the dark room. Max in the dark room? Max in the dark room over and over again. Take a selfie, ho. Yes, you're running out of choices. Let's all go to the lighthouse. Max, why do you want to kill everybody? What did everybody do to you, bully? Go fuck your selfie. <laughs> oh god, do I even want to look at these? Max, this is your old pal Chloe you left in a wheelchair in another reality. Did I thank you before you bailed to a new life? 
Not only did you blow off my request, you already jumped into another photo. How many fucking times can you abandon me, hippie? Good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. Jesus Christ. Hi, Max. Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon. Real soon. Oh my gosh. Pompadour? Bitch, do not mess with Frank or me. You got a snack. Max, I loved your photo shoot with Jefferson. He absolutely captured you. If you want, we can hang out and get high. Words. Ah, uh, no. Oh God, Kate. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Oh Lord. This still looks normal. Oh, that's too creepy. Oh. All right, should have seen that coming. What does this even say? Not yet, you bastard. Max, if you're reading this, it means you're dead, Mr. Jefferson. XOXO. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Where? Oh, goodness. This can't be real. I looked right past them. Holy frick. Yeah, you can't really. I just saw the bushes. Oh, my God. Holy frick. Anything else in this room I could stare at? Before I leave into whatever other nightmare scene? Still the lighthouse? Oh no. <gasps> oh, destroyed lighthouse. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Oh. Okay. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. Is Max Caulfield a loser? Yes, everyday zeros photo contest. Max has already won because she's already lost. Don't bother to enter. What? Loser, loser, loser. Let's go. I see you, Max Caulfield. Oh, <gasps> Jesus. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh, frick. You scared me. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Oh, my God. Your purity inspires me so much. And we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Holy... I don't know if I have a choice to not say anything? Do I have a choice to not say anything? My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. Ugh. There's so many angles. Oh I God, want to stop talking you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. Oh. Holy frick. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Alright, I'm ready for the next nightmare escape. Please, I don't want to be in here anymore. Let me out. Oh, uh, Kate? 